realistically, the transition from um, fossil fuels to renewable energy is going to entail a significant downsizing of our energy usage. And that's going to have impacts uh, across the board. It's going to require shortening supply chains. It's going to require economic localization. So these are, in addition to being you know, morally or politically advantageous, these are survival strategies. The big environmental organizations, in my view, have, uh, I think, failed us on this topic because for the most part, they are telling us that all we have to do is transition to solar and wind and everything will be fine. And that's far, far from being the case. You know, back in the 1970s, the popular books were um, Limits to Growth and, uh, and Small is Beautiful. And those ideas have pretty much vanished from the big environmental organizations. Um, and I think that's, that's, that's a tragedy. There, there, I understand that there are political reasons within those organizations why those choices were made, uh, public relations advice that they received that you know, we need to give policymakers a, you know, a hopeful message and, and so on. Great, I, I get that. But if it's at the cost of telling the truth, that's a pretty big price to pay.